Welcome, welcome to Making the Brands, brought to you by Bullside Merch on episode number 13, lucky number 13. Lucky um, number 13, yep. huh? Today we're going to talk about uh, the importance of uh, having an online presence, specifically an online store. So cool. we're gonna, that, that's the topic for today. All right, cool. You know what? Um, I, I want the, the audience to know that this is not done on purpose. It's not. I trip out. I trip out because it's not the first time. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, okay, so, bro, that was like, yeah. Okay. Like, how is it that, that um, you know, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're not, not only that, there's a couple of us. Yeah. I, I got I got in here a little while ago and I'm like we're all wearing we're all wearing Alejandro Fernandez I'm like bro I, I, we didn't set it up no, no, no. we didn't call each other I mean I told you I, I, that means we're in sync it was at, a cool at, tour so you know we all we all loved it so. it seems like we're in sync man I no. got here and this guy was wearing a hoodie yeah. and man he's wearing you know, he, yeah, he took it off and now. then um, <laughs> I was like oh shit like did, did we plan this or what I know right anyways um yeah you could uh online stores online stores yep man, so yeah it's uh it's it's nowadays in in this in this era uh the the question is um not if it's important not if, yeah not if it's important it's like why aren't you right it's a must now yeah it's yeah. A, it's a must like why mm -hmm. why why wouldn't you or why yeah. don't you have an online store right um it's i want to say from when we first started it's a lot uh, the, the process is a lot easier nowadays than it was when this whole uh, online thing was 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 taken right. up because in reality, um, online stores are 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 still I want to say they're relatively new. I mean you know it's not like it's been something happening since you know decades. I mean right. it's been you know I, I want to say what maybe like 10, 15 years where they started getting popularity, but it's yeah. it's been within the last maybe ten years. Mm -hmm. Maybe even five years, it, it started to really, really, really it take really over, take, off, right? take yeah. over, yeah, mm -hmm. take over. Where it's now, where now it's like the it, it's 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 even more common to buy online than right. than to actually go to the store, you know. So yeah. easier, too, more convenient. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, so you you know you you gotta really ask yourself, especially if you're a if you're a an artist that has a following or some sort of influencer or. Yep. Somebody that with a lot of popularity, popularity, and has a has a large following, and you have a lot of you know eyes on you, yeah. um, you should be offering some sort of product or merchandise that um, that that fans probably are are looking for. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Real fans are always looking for you know new stuff or like even like the older stuff. You know they want to have uh, real fans, number one fans, which is like you know who who yeah who we have as, as customers, you know, they always want a collection, you know, they always want to have, you know, the merch from the start all the way to the, to the new tour or like even, uh, when, when an artist does a drop. Yes, they are. There, there's, there are those number one fans that they, they, they do see the, uh, the, the merchandise as, as part of a collection. Yep. So like I said, you do have those, those number one fans that like they, they, They'll, you know, get all the products from one tour. Yeah. Then a new tour yeah. starts, and then yeah. they get it again. And 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 they're it's it's like they're proud of it. They're mm -hmm. like um they're mm -hmm. excited. They're like, hey man, you know, I got the collection from last year's right. tour. Yeah. Now I'm looking forward to getting the collection from this year's tour. Exactly. Because man, they're fans. Right. They're fans. You know, like yeah. I said, I I I know I'm a fan of certain artists and. Mm -hmm. uh, I've, you know, when I've gone to their tours, I, I, I you know, not this, not too much, you know, but I, I do, like I said, I, I, I do. And, you know, like, uh, I'm proud to wear the, the, the shirt or whatever of the yeah. artist that I'm going to go see, because I'm like, I'm a fan, right. I'm a fan. So I can see, I can relate to see how people do that. Right. Um, so yeah, I mean, and then there's those uh, fans that are extremely like uh, diehard fans, but yeah. for some reason they're not able to go to the tours. Yeah. They're not able to go to the concerts. Mm -hmm. However, they can still be part of it because the online store exactly. is something that they have access to. Yeah. Or sometimes like, let's say, you know, cause we do sell a lot, sell out a lot, you know, if they don't have their size or, you know, or design that, the, that um, they liked wasn't available anymore or anything like that, they can always go back. You know, after the, the if they do go to the the show, they can always go back after the show and look up online um, the artist um, 
uh, uh, store and purchase it there and, you know, have it shipped to, to, to their home, which is even more convenient. And, you know, I got to throw that in there. Bullseye always ha um, has free shipping and on $45 or more. In the right? US. Orders, yeah, in, in the, the US. US. So I, I got, had to throw that in there. That's cool. <laughs> no, it's true. That's a good point you made. Uh, there, there has been uh, several uh, situations with certain sizes just run out. Right. They just run out. Mm -hmm. Some sizes are more popular than others, and you know they just seem to go first. Right. And you know, like if they really want that design, they can always go online. They right. can always go online. And uh, one thing that you can see the I want to say. Um, that can separate our, our, our merch from uh, maybe like a bootleg or something. Mm -hmm. Official merch is our, our official merch has our, our neck label on it. Yeah. Has our neck label, which is the bullseye neck You're label. You see that right there yeah. on the neck label. Yeah. <laughs> and it has the website under, which is bullseye mm -hmm. And there you can, you know, you can navigate to different online stores that we, uh, that we, that right. we hey, manage. Nice plug that we manage. Nice plug in. <laughs> <laughs> Low key, bro. Low key. <laughs> yeah. That we manage and stuff. So, yeah, I mean, that's always a good alternative. And like I said, it's also another option for those that can't go to the concerts. Right. You can still be part of the uh, of the of the fan. Of yeah, the, exactly. The fans, you know, exactly. so um, aside from that, like I said, we started this video by saying like, man, in this time and date, why wouldn't you? Why have wouldn't? One? Yeah. Why Absolutely. wouldn't you have one? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if I was an artist, I'd be like, well, you know what? I haven't found the right company or like somebody yeah. that can actually uh do the fulfillment because right. yeah i mean he, you know anybody can get orders but then you know there's there's different uh, uh type of issues that can that, that can come up yeah you know, like uh like getting you know the, the, the shirts and you know and get them printed you know have have stock you know um i think we could go into a little bit yeah. of, of supply chain issues as well yeah you know um if i was an artist that'd be my answer hey you know what i haven't found the right company that can do it for me true that uh, it's not going to take, you know, months to deliver it, that, you know, that are capable of uh, fulfilling the orders in a timely manner. They have to feel confident that they're going to be partnered with the right company that's right. going to represent them at a professional level. Yep. With that being said, I, I, we will admit that um, these last, I want to say these last six months have been very um, challenging. challenging for <laughs> us yeah. because we... Um, we we are not used to uh, having supply chain issues the way that we've had these last you know this last half year to a yeah. year post pandemic uh, post pandemic mm -hmm. I mean it, it's been crazy you know um, mm -hmm. and we uh, we, we want to you know take this opportunity to apologize for for online orders that took longer than they're supposed to right that was that's that's never been the case but I mean we just we're coming back from a worldwide pandemic. Yeah. Right. You know, where where everything was a mess, mm -hmm. you know, everybody had to get back into the system, get yeah. back, get get back, uh, get everything going again. Right. And unfortunately, we, we did experience, you know, shortages or just just issues in general, mm -hmm. man. Everything right. was just like it was it was a challenging time. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it looks like we're finally getting over it and, and things are looking more normal mm -hmm. like before all this. Right chaos happened but um yeah i mean we did experience that ourselves and it yeah. was never something intentional um it was just like it was out of our control you know we were getting you know there was certain orders that would come in and you know they weren't being shipped in a timely manner and it's we have a system where you can see those online orders right. every single Coming. day right so like if they're not getting shipped out yeah, you, you see it's them right every there day. so it's like yeah. it's like something's yeah. bugging you. yeah like, our system even counts down the days that we yeah. received oh it's been two days it's been three yeah. days yes you know, it counts yes. them down, down. so it's like right. you can't just get rid of that stuff right so. everyone in the company is aware once when we have an order yeah. an online order like we know hey that, you know we yeah ship that out. everybody can log on to that system mm -hmm. as well and see it like hey these right. are the ones that are pending or whatever right. and it's something that we've you know we've had meetings about and we say yeah. hey listen what's going on with this right so our um, our response is that a lot of our suppliers, like for blanks and stuff, they tell us, "Hey, your order is gonna be here next Monday." Great. So what we do is <laughs> reply to our customer, "Hey, listen, uh, we apologize for the inconvenience yep. about your your order hasn't you know gone through or whatever, mm -hmm. but it'll be here Monday." And then, right. you know, the, 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 our supplier will be like, oh, you know what? It got delayed or it's stuck in the right. port or right. whatever, whatever it yeah. is. Point being is that, um, 
this 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 video is the importance of online stores and although uh, this is not something that typically happens or mm -hmm. has happened to us in the right. past we just wanted to take the opportunity to address it and and also to let people know that uh, that things are going back to normal yeah. and we've made the uh, the uh, the necessary adjustments, adjustments. Yeah. in order for this to be ready if something like this happens again, again yeah. yeah if something like this happens again we're we're uh, we're we're able to modify we're able to modify and just because of lack of not knowing that in the past yep. you know we had these issues mm -hmm. however back to the topic in regards to um having a company that's gonna be able to um manage and handle your product uh, accordingly definitely I, I would say that we are um we're we're a, we're a great fit for that uh we have the experience we have the um the personnel we have the location we have uh done it for so many years that we we, we know what it is we know what it is what to do especially since we focus on the um the regional market the regional market and you know um we, I want to, I want to say that we actually, I feel that we started this business in the regional market. Right. Right? I think uh, we were one of the first ones, if not the first ones, mm -hmm. to to uh, start an online store with right. these type of artists. Right. And uh, I, I recall when we started these online stores. I mean, it was something unheard of. Like <laughs> nobody was doing that. And they're like, right. dude, nobody's gonna like. Right. What the heck? Who's gonna buy a right? One of the, you know, a, you know, a shirt from this type of music this right. type of artist and uh it was something that had to be built mm -hmm. um now i see other people are, are are doing it and 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 as they should yeah as they should as they should uh the thing is uh from my experience like i said uh from what i've heard from from fans from other artists from other companies is the issue that i mentioned to you with um with uh the delay in the in, in, the, in the shipping mm -hmm. because of these supply issues, supply chain issues. People, other people were having these types of right. issues, even when there was no problems, even when there was no yeah. supply chain issues. It was something so that pre-pandemic, pre not not after no, you know all no, this not after mess. all this madness. Right. Pre-pandemic, yeah, they were having a lot of these issues because right. they didn't know how to put. They don't. They don't know how to purchase. They don't know how to outsource. They don't know how to you know do do their fulfillment. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like they just said, hey, you know what? They didn't. They probably didn't even know how to set up an online store. They probably just say, hey, you know what? Let's put a shirt up online, and if it sells, it sells. And guess right. what? It did sell. It did sell. It did sell. And then, <laughs> now you uh, gotta fulfill it. And now you gotta fulfill it. But yeah. wait, I don't even know how to get it. Where am I gonna exactly. get the shirts from? Where am I gonna wait, get it? I need printed? boxes. I need shipping yeah. labels. I need this. And, and it's funny because right. I've I've had conversations with major artists, mm -hmm. um, and and they're literally trying to figure out how to do these things. About what? Do right. you, I mean. Why is somebody like you like you <laughs> right? know trying to figure out like yeah. I see them like trying to like get like it's bags and boxes right. and how right. do I do I go to the post office yeah. and I'm like okay right. <laughs> like 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 I said and it, and it's 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 not that you know that I'm pretty sure that's not what they have in mind it's just it's it's lack of information and, right. and lack of knowledge right and that's why we're here that's why the pod yeah. podcast is here you yeah. know to to inform you know artists and, and yeah and yeah. this is all a part of making a brand yeah. Part of making a brand, like hey, you know, all, all these tools are needed right. for everything to come together. Right. Um. So, yeah, like I said, I, I, I've I've heard of those issues, and it's like, hey, listen, you you know, I, I, first of all, if if you're an artist or like I said, somebody like that, like an influencer, somebody that has a lot going on, mm -hmm. I, I I I straight out do not see the logic in you doing it yourself. Right. It doesn't make sense to me. Mm -hmm. Why would somebody like uh, like that want to mm -hmm. spend time right. figuring out all these things that are like irrelevant to their business? Right. They got to focus on what yeah. they're good at. And their music or whatever yep, it is whatever that they're doing. They, do. they got to keep yeah. doing that instead of saying, mm -hmm. hey, you know what? That's why, like I said, it's important to have a company. Right. Such as ourselves, that's going to handle all those things. Literally A to Z. Mm -hmm. We can come up with a design. Yep. We can uh, print it. We can um, package it up. Mm -hmm. We can fulfill it, ship it out, yeah. tracking number, email, mm -hmm. everything is documented. Customer service, everything. Customer service, yep. everything. We have the warehouse. We mm -hmm. have everything. We have somebody that's going to do all that for you. And yeah. then there's a record of it. Right. So you can just be like, hey, listen, uh, you know, 
how many online orders that we sell this right. month, you can check it out. It can be, hey, man, you know, I'm the hottest artist. And oh, well, you know what? You only sold two. <laughs> or, hey, dude, I sold 2,000. Right. But the point is, it's going to be right there. Right. So, um, yeah, along with having an online store is you have an online presence. Mm. People can Google you. People can, you know, just see what's going on with you. Even if they don't buy, the fact is that you have right. something up there. Right. You have something out there because you know what now like i said in these days mm -hmm. there's just so many ways to uh for Gen bootleggers yeah, right to, right to to, to it so it's like <laughs> man you're you're allowing these bootleggers yeah. to continue to you know produce your right. merchandise to make money off of your to name make money of you yeah. when you can actually have an official right artist store mm -hmm. where you can actually have your stuff right and um instead of like i said somebody else yeah that doesn't have the rights to to print or to make anything <laughs> with with that name. Yeah, right? but, but like see, I said, just, a lot. just the fact that, like I said, it's you know the internet is a is a crazy animal <laughs> right there. So there's a lot of things yeah. that are being done that right. are not legit. Right. However, they're still taking place. Right. So I, I would I like I said, it's a no brainer for you to ha not have for you to have an online store, right. online presence. Right. Um. Yeah. And for, and also to be associated with a company that that. That um, ex that has all the experience that that does it already with with top artists. Yeah, I think that's very important to to be, um, you know, um, uh, you say associated associated. You know, yeah, with, with the absolutely, company that absolutely. Would yeah. I mean, yeah, if there's um, like I said, we have a list of high profile names. Mm -hmm. um, it just shows that it's um, you can be confident in ordering from us. That you know, it's gonna, it's you know, the product is gonna. Uh, come through and it's going to be a product of quality and you're going to you can you can um, expect um, good customer service like I said just just overall the experience should be a pleasant one right and yeah like I said uh, to me like I said once again it's an absolute no-brainer as to why don't you however mm -hmm. I agree with what you said when hey listen man but but who am I going to get to trust? Right. Who am I going to get to to do this for me? Mm -hmm. Who am I going to find to do all these little steps? Well, right. I mean, like I said, by the you can uh, look at the list of the people that we have worked with. I mean, um, you know, we've been fortunate enough to work at one point or another with, you know, top of the top artists, you know, mm -hmm. in, in our genre, right. in our genre, you know, and, you know. Just like everything, some come, some leave, some stay, some go. It's 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 business. Mm -hmm. It's some business. come back again. Some come back. <laughs> yeah, you know, and uh, and the point is that they uh, we want people to feel like, hey, you know, you're at you're this is this is your home. This is your home, man. right? And you know, like we're here to make sure that things get done accordingly, mm -hmm. and having an online store in nowadays like i said it's just it, it, it's a must yeah it's a must. the advantage of having an online store also gives you the the ability to um what's a big thing uh, nowadays uh to to make drops oh, right drops and which yes. is like oh, i mean if we, if we can emphasize one thing about this episode <laughs> is like guys do drops <laughs> right yeah. if yeah. you're especially if you're a top artist you have a big following it's definitely a must, a must. But, but like we said, you have to have the right team, in, you know, in order to, to fulfill that. Yes, the the drops is an excellent, um, an excellent way to 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 push sales. But it's like you said, it, it, it the team has to all be in sync in order for it to work. Right. Um. You know, everybody plays their role. The artist plays their role. I, I want to say the artist's biggest role when it comes to a drop is marketing that right. that promotion that, that, that promotion right. promoting that product, you know, yep. because um, the fans are buying from them. Yep. You know, so they they gotta market it like, hey, man, this is, and that will determine your outcome. Exactly. If you promote it once. Yeah. It also gonna, helps you know. like when an artist has a, a new single or a new album coming up. You know, there's uh, the, the biggest artists always when they drop a. Uh, an album they also drop merch you know to go along with that with that album or to go along with the tour or to go along with something special you know there's always got to be that merchandise and you have to capitalize on it but you know i feel like a lot of artists are missing that opportunity they're missing the opportunity because i feel that some artists have tried to do it on their own right and it was just 
too much too of much. a headache. Too much. That they're yeah. like, you know what, this didn't work for me. Right. However, when you do have somebody that, yeah. that that does this, this is this is this is this is a piece of cake. Right. Like you said, all they're gonna do is to see reports and you know and yeah. uh, you know and, be compensated and, and, for it. And, yeah. and yeah, and you get compensated for that. So it's like, hey, listen, man, I I uh, I like this idea about the drop and uh, an, a really cool thing about the drop is that it's. A drop usually is only um, available for a certain amount of time. Right. Limited, or limited, limited edition. Limited edition, limited yeah. time yeah. to buy. And, and the cool yep. thing is that once that drop is gone, That's that design it. is gone. Right. So it becomes a collector's edition. It does. The, yeah. Without it a doubt. becomes a collector's edition. To me, that's a big plus. Right. That's a big plus because a fan gets to be part of something that was only Very available yeah. for a limited time. Right. Only available for like a, an exclusive drop, right. where it's not available at the tours or any yep. of that. It was just available for that period right. of time. Yeah. Once it's gone, it's gone. Yep. If you're a part of it, you're a part of it. Mm -hmm. If not, hey, listen, hopefully you make the next drop. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that helps build uh, brand loyalty and, you know, fan loyalty. You know, like if, you have, if the artist has a lot of fans, like it lets them know like who's always supporting them, you know, and like top fans are always going to rise, you know, to the top. Yeah. And it, it, it keeps the um, it keeps momentum going for the right. artists as well too, mm -hmm. because people are are talking about this. Yep. Like, hey, did you get that drop? Did you get that <laughs> exactly. drop? Or let me see that drop right. or whatever. Yeah, exactly. So it's definitely like I yeah. said, and uh, that it builds that community between the fans. You know that I, I mean, another thing that we do um, as a company is uh, like reshare or repost. You know, when they yeah. when the fans ta tag us on the on the drops. Um, we, uh, you know, we reshare on, on our Instagram and, uh, yeah. um, you know, you can go to our Instagram, uh, Bullseye Merch and check it out, um, you know, pa from past drops and that builds community, you know, like yeah. fans get to know each other. Wait, you, you like, you like this artist? Oh, I love them too. Like, you know, and, uh, and that, that's, that's, that's really good for an artist, you know, to yes. have a, a tight, uh, fan community. Yeah. You want to be trending. Right. You want to be trending yep. uh, as strong as possible, as much as possible, yep. as long as possible. Right. Uh, if they're talking about you and your product, you're relevant, man. You're right. relevant. If they're wearing your product, you're yeah. relevant. It's a, it's it, that's the reason I tell you the is so beneficial to have an online store, to have these drops is because, um, think about it. Like somebody buys your product online. Let's say that. Let's say they're the art. It's it's a picture of the artist. Right. The people that are buying these stuff online, these are fans. Right. They went out of their way to look you yep. up and say, hey, listen, I want to buy from you. Yep. I want to buy from you. Guess what they're going to do? Mm -hmm. They're going to put that item on yep. and they're going to go to the store. Mm -hmm. They're going to go to the mall. They're going to go to the movies. They're going to go to a bar. They're going to mm -hmm. go to a club. They're going to go wherever the hell they're going to go. <laughs> it's a walking billboard, right. man. Mm -hmm. Proudly. Right. Too. Right. Right. Proudly. Mm -hmm. And guess what? If another fan sees them, guess what? They're, oh, wow. Look at that. Right. Or even if anybody, they're just waiting for the opportunity for somebody to say, hey, who's that on your shirt? Right. Or you're a fan oh, of that because right. they're fans. Absolutely. They're going to want to talk about this, this mm -hmm. artist. Yeah. But like I said, the way this all comes together is the artist needs to have a company. Mm -hmm. That's dedicated and focused on making sure all these pieces come together. Right. Without that, this doesn't work. Yeah, this and doesn't I work. And I think you you made a really good point of of like to be trending or to be you know um, talked about. And I think the drop. Um, let's talk about the timeline of a drop. You know, like mm -hmm. first is the promotion. Yeah. So you know, um, you know, the artist gets you know their fans like you know uh, ready you know or like excited about the drop right then uh then pre-drop you know like uh oh um uh, you know there's more promotion there like more people are like oh i'm ready for it. i'm excited mm -hmm. so it gets it gets fans engaged yeah you know um to post on social media you know stuff like that there's strategies there's a lot of strategies mm -hmm. that, that that are that that come into play when it comes to the promoting of these drops, right, yeah, and you definitely want to get the art, the artists and the fans involved. Yeah. Um. Once after that, like w once all those things get, you create excitement. Yeah, exactly. You create, excitement, you create urgency. Yeah, and then for for an ex uh, extended period of time, because then then the drop, and then you know those those few hours, you know, it's, it just goes crazy. You know, everyone's yeah. like talking about it. Everyone's excited about it. Uh, and then, um, you know, in between the, the fulfillment, you know, the fans get still excited. They're like, oh, can't wait, can't wait to start countdowns, you know, all that good stuff. Yeah. And then once they, they receive it, you know, they, they put it on, they, you know, they take pictures with it, like, you know, they post it. So 
it's a, it's a good timeline to to it's stay trending. to stay relevant. It's trending, yeah, yeah. it's trending for for quite some time, yeah. you know, a couple of months to, in the process. Yeah, you know, and uh, like I said, like uh, this this is this this can be challenging for somebody just to do on their own because first thing you have to even do is first you have to create the design. Yeah, then you have to do samples of mm. the design, yeah. which is a whole nother monster yeah. in its own, man. You have to right. literally. You know, you're, for these samples, you're going to do just a few pieces, maybe right. for the artist, maybe for, you know, their Your team, team or whatever, yeah. or just to promo. Yeah. So you're doing an entire setup, right. uh, entire production yep. for just a few samples. Mm -hmm. But it's part of the um, part of the thing when it comes part of the to marketing doing, strategy, yeah, part of the marketing mm -hmm. strategy and part of the part of the um, what needs to take place in order for this drop to be successful. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I said it, it's it, it does have um, it's uh, tienes su chiste mm -hmm. in order for it to work. Right. You need to be able to put all the pieces. It's a together. formula. It's a system. Yes, you know that we've done repeat, repeatedly. So we know how we know what works. Yeah, and uh, and like I said, sometimes you know you think that the formula works without this piece. Well, mm -hmm. it, it possibly can, but it's not going to have the same results. Right. So as long as we have, we're all in sync. We develop the strategy and we all do what needs to be done. Then I, I I don't see why the drop would not be successful. Right. You know, so like I said, it's just putting everything together. And our job is to make sure we deliver on the product yep. that we are offering and uh, and that the customer is happy and satisfied. Yeah. yeah. And like I said, nowadays, if anybody is looking for somebody to manage their online store, if you have yep. the following if you have the uh, the the uh, the fans, mm -hmm. and you feel that this is a good um, um, opportunity that you want to maybe even possibly try out, right? Definitely reach out, reach yeah. out, man. We can we can discuss and let you know exactly how we work, right? And you can see if it's something that'll benefit you. Which the way I see it is like, how can it not benefit right, you, man? Exactly. We're we're giving you the. Uh, the uh the pros all yeah. the all the all the positive outcome that comes out of this mm -hmm. uh on top of the merchandise your music is whatever it is that you're producing is, right. is getting even more talked about yeah. so i see it i see it as a win-win all around for the artists on top of that on top of that you you'll you know depending on the drop you'll get compensated accordingly right to what it sells so mm -hmm. yeah that's the uh, that was the topic of the importance of having an online store. Yeah, that's especially that's a good way to wrap uh, it up, man. You're in this, yeah. but uh, yeah, for sure, definitely. Man. Like I said, any questions, feel free to let us know. Yep. And uh, yeah, we'll yeah. continue with the next one. Exactly. So yeah, this was cool. a good one. We'll All see right, you guys man. on the next Let's one.